Pagepedia, the global data system of information. It is with utmost humility and sincerity that we present Fela Duratoye, CEO of the Gemstone Group, as a living testament and recollection of history in the making in our generation. I know I can count on me, so stand up for the champions, for the champions, stand up, stand up. Well, um, my name is Fela Dorotoe and I have been known and called many different things um, because of the diverse ways that, that I have used my, my gifts in, to serve um, organizations as a business strategist, to serve um, my generation as a national development uh, strategist um, and a nation builder, uh, to serve many corporate leaders as an executive coach and, uh, and so it depends on which part. I, many people describe me like, like an elephant that has different parts but when I look through all the different angles of my life um, I describe myself as, an, as a transformational agent. In a sense one who every time I come into whatever the situation is whether it's a person's life, it's an organizational existence or is even our nation as I have uh, defined my mission. My job is to transform whatever that thing is, whoever that person is, and transform them to become the best, the very best that their potential allows them to be. So I am a transformational agent. I use multiples of my giftings, my understanding as a business consultant. I use my capacity, my natural inherent capacity as a motivator or an inspirator um, but most importantly I make change happen I make change happen for people I make change happen for organizations and I'm currently on a mission to make change happen for Nigeria to transform Nigeria with a set of nation builders into a most desirable nation to live in We're hoping that we'll be able to use the Nigerian model for nation building to also activate many other nations across Africa until Africa becomes undoubtedly a most desirable continent to live in. Well, um, so I, I, I am a man of many letters. Uh, I have, uh, I, let me start by saying that I grew up in, in Obafemi Awolowo University and uh, my parents were lecturers at the University of Ife. And so I did much of my schooling on that one campus. Uh, in fact, I'm a thoroughbred Ife um, product. Um, so I have primary, secondary, and my tertiary education in Obafemi Awolowo University. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in computer science and economics. It's a combined honors degree. Uh, and then after that, I've done a master's program uh, in business administration. So I have an MBA. And I also have a master of philosophy degree from strategic, in, in strategic management. I've also had uh, the privilege of Executive, executive education at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government and the Yale University, both in the United States of America, as well as the Leadership Institute in Arlington, Virginia. I am married, I'm very happily married, to an absolutely beautiful, delectable um, queen of my heart. Her name is Tara Fela Dorotue, and most people know her because she is a pioneer makeup artist and beauty entrepreneur. Um, and the, the founder of House of Tara, uh, and together we are blessed with uh, three amazing young kings and uh, leaders. Um, the first is Mubolori, who's uh, currently 14 years old, as sat today. By, by the time you might be watching this many years later, he would have been much older. Uh, the middle one is Demilade, and uh, there's also Morola, all of them, you know, young men, dashing young men. Everyone is born for a purpose. Feladuro Toye reveals his life's purpose. Well, I, be I believe my purpose on earth is really, number one, to bring about transformation. Uh, I think that is everybody's purpose on earth. I think that in the end, if you were born and you left the earth the same way that it was when you came, then you have been nothing but a waste of time and just an abundance of breath wasted. I think everybody's purpose is to bring about transformation. My particular sphere of transformation is to bring about 
transformation in human beings and make them become leaders. My purpose is to bring about transformation for organizations and make them become global market leaders. But most importantly, my, trans my purpose is to transform nations into desirable societies to live in. I believe that my major assignment as we speak right now is to raise a generation that is empowered, motivated and stirred to operate with natural excellence and that is an acronym for GEMSTONE. And I believe that, that that is going to be a critical mass of nation builders who will transform Nigeria into a most desirable nation to live in by December 31, 2025. That is my current assignment in expression of my purpose. Faladuro Toye shares with us how we got to this height. Well, if you describe it as height, then I, you know, sometimes don't know how to dis how to how to discuss that because, um, you know, it's it's. I am definitely not where I used to be. I started my life and my career um, many many years ago uh, as a business consultant and an investment, what project finance analyst at venture ventures and trusts. Um, this was in 1992. Uh, and then I went to study for an MBA, came back um, into the corporate world, uh, joined a company called Philips Consulting, and I did that in 1998. And then set up my organization, my first company, um, VIP Consulting, it's a management consulting firm, um, in the year 2000. And uh, in 2007, VIP metamorphosed into a, a, a social enterprise called Visible Impact. So it, it had a consulting group within it, but it had also a project management group, a multimedia group. But around 2012, it became clear to me that that Gemstone or the assignment to raise a generation was not just um, something that was a casual interest or passion for Nigeria. I began to understand that it was a mission in life. And, uh, and so, most importantly, my energies have been poured into a foundation, a non-governmental organization foundation called the Gemstone Foundation, and it's a nation builders foundation. And basically, that's what today um, I'm focused on, building that generation that will build Nigeria into a most desirable nation. What would Feladuro to you like to be remembered for? I would love to be remembered as that ordinary guy that with the help of God did extraordinary things and became an example for everyone else who could, you know. Because um, there's nothing special to, to me, in my opinion. I think that the gifts that I have, everybody else has. Um, I believe that it's the working of the gift that makes um, extraordinary results happen. Um, I believe that I am a, a believer in, in, in possibilities uh, and I want to be remembered as someone who built the nation that the next generation was thankful for and my generation was proud to deliver to the, to the next generation. Most importantly, I just want to be someone who, who God used mightily to prove what human beings can do and become. If they believe in God, believe in themselves and believe in their assignment and work hard at it. As a word of advice to the younger generation, Feladuro Toye says, For the older generation, um, I would like to say, well, thank you for all that you've done. Well, and that is both good and bad. Um, because without that older generation, we would not have come this way. I believe that life is a, life is not just a race between, race, you know, the black man or, or the white man or any of those things. I believe that life is really a race against time. But most importantly, I believe that life is a relay race. And one generation must run their race and hand over the baton to the next generation. And so to the older generation, we have inherited a baton um, from, you, from them. It, that baton has both, both what would be desirable and quite undesirable in it. Um, but I want to say thank you to that generation. Um, but I want to speak really to my generation and say, well, we are the ones who have the capacity to be able to decide what button or legacy we hand over to the next generation. I think that that button or that legacy uh, must be three things that, that, are, that are critical. Number one, 
we must hand over the right values that will enable the next generation to succeed in wherever it is that they find themselves. Number two, we must hand over an environment in which the right values can succeed. Um, so we want to hand over a nation wherein the children that have the right values get exceptional opportunities, do exceptionally well. But the third and the most important challenge that I want to give to everyone who is in my generation is you need to leave that next generation a good name. You need to leave them a name that opens doors and not shut doors of opportunity against them so that they can find the place and the space to be able to put those values that we have put in them into the next generation. My generation must hand over 10 simple values to, to the next generation. Number one, to teach, to, to, to teach the next generation by our lives, by our actions on a daily basis. Number one, to make a positive impact on everyone they meet and everywhere they go. We have to exemplify this for them to be able to see it. Because they say children will learn more from what we do than what we say. Number two, to be solution providers and not part of the problem to be solved. Number three, to be role models worthy of emulation. Number four, to be our best in all that we do, particularly the things that we are naturally good at. And when we are that, they will do the same. Number five, to do the right thing at all times, regardless of who is doing the wrong thing. Number six, to value time and make the best use of it. Number seven, to care and show respect through our words and our actions. Number eight, to consciously build a great legacy, starting now, today and every day. Number nine, to live a life of integrity and honor. And number 10, to make our families, our nation and our God proud. And you know, you asked a question a little while ago. What do I think has brought me this far? I don't know whether they're heights or not. When I look at where we're going, I don't feel like I'm anywhere close to a height at all. But the question was very pertinent. What is it that I think has brought me this far? It's those 10 values. Those 10 values I leave out on a daily basis. I make a positive impact on everyone I meet and everywhere I go. I let every word that comes out of my mouth be to lift up the hearer. Maybe that's why people call me an inspirational speaker. I seek to find solutions to problems. I try to be a role model every time. And, and all these 10 things are the things that guide me in the way that I have become. This is my advice to that next generation. For the page PDF Videography Challenge, Feladuro Tsoye nominates the following people whose lives are worthy of emulation. Stand up for the champion. Well, um, I, ch I challenge my brother from another mother, twin brother, much older than me, Larry Olushala. Um, I challenge my friend, my bosom friend, Ni Adesoya. I would also like to challenge, um, um, hmm, who else would I like to challenge on this? Uh, I would like to challenge Adeolu Akiemi, who's a great guy doing many wonderful things. And um, let's see, who's the fourth person that I would like to challenge that I think might be of great value to you? Wow, well, okay. <laughs> then I can challenge my wife, and who's really made also an amazing impact. Okay. That's great. This information is accurate as of 15 September 2016 and does not reflect subsequent edits. This recording is distributed under the terms of phpedia.com.